Sounds good, Haley. 614, we're joined along now with Basel Jalad from uh, Blessing Hospital today. We're talking about Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and let's just talk about uh, what we're doing right now at Blessing uh, Hospital to, to raise that awareness. Right. Thank you for uh, having me. Good morning. So, um, at Blessing Hospital, currently, we try as much as possible to keep the new advent in therapies and approaches and how to treat breast cancer, you know, up to date. Uh, we do use, I mean, uh, the best available approved drugs, but at the same time, we also do the right uh, approach how to tackle that, uh, you know, breast cancer. Uh, us at uh, Blessing Hospital, we are a team of oncologists, radiation oncologists, uh, surgeons, plastic surgeons, you know, all the extra, also supportive services all recruited to uh, give the patients the best care possible. You know, year after year, we hear more about more advances, more opportunity for you to get detection, but it's still a very hard conversation for so many dealing with this. That's correct. And, uh, oh, you know, just knowing, they always say knowing is just half the battle. How important is it that we really do encourage these folks that uh, if you are uncomfortable about it, it, it's still important to come forward because this is about uh, trying to prevent the disease from spreading, right? Very important. One out of eight uh, uh, females in uh, the whole I mean in their life will be uh, diagnosed with breast cancer so that's a big number so we cannot ignore the idea that it's a common problem and we have to be very aware of it diagnosing it early is a big deal because you are then approaching it as cure rather than just control or rather than just you know reducing the problem so you can just take care of it once and for all. What is something, uh, you know, we talked about the, the opportunities that we have at Blessing Hospital as, as far as care. Um, what's something that we might not have uh, spoken about that is really important that our viewer knows about today? So, I mean, again, all about prevention, 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 number one. I mean, at 40 years of age, you have to start, uh, I mean, like introducing the idea of doing the screening. There's different types of screenings. We have one of the best, uh, you know, instruments to do the, uh, I mean, what you call 3D mammograms along with the, you know, uh, different uh, ways of making it even less uh, painful because I know this is something that people are anxious about, you know, to do. Uh, so that's number one. Again, we are one of the uh, only team that have all type of inter interdisciplinary like team approach that mm -hmm. uh, including radiation oncologists and oncologists to tackle that problem. For someone who's not aware to get information real quick, how do we call to, to, to plan? How do we call to make an appointment? Okay, so uh, there is a different, you know, two, three different numbers that you can call. There's a direct number for our medical oncology department. So you maybe know. best just to go to the website. Our website, that's <laughs> another one. That's All right. correct. That'll work. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us this morning. Absolutely, anytime. And we'll be right back here on KHQA this morning.